We are here today to check out some more cricket. But should we just call it like Cricket Tuesday or something like that? <laughs> cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. It's so true though. Okay, well first so of all, true. Mitch Johnson, Brett Lee, MS Doney, with all that boring stuff out of the way, this is a very important, <laughs> momentous occasion. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe. And we are so excited, as always, to bring you another Cricket, Cricket Tuesday, Tuesday video. And, you know, it's funny because when you start it off, you're waiting for the other person to pick it up, and then you kind of slow yourself down. And I think I make myself sound worse. But we are excited for Cricket Tuesday. Happy Cricket Tuesday to everybody. If you saw my post, which I just posted right now, even though this video is coming out several days later, um, I'm busy with a few different things going on that I can't avoid. So some of our videos may not be as long, may not be as in-depth, may not be as consistent, but eventually these different uh, obligations will be done with, and then we'll be able to get back and be better than ever. So today I'm excited to be able to start this series of reactions again, like with Cricket Addict. We reached out to Robolinda2. He's got his own YouTube channel. Um, I believe in his name is Ma Rob in real life. I reached out to him, and he got back to us with a thumbs up that we can react to his videos. So we're going to be peppering in some of those videos. We've reacted to some videos in the past, not knowing um, that they were his. We just They were a topic that we were interested in. So we are looking at a Robolinda2 two video that he put together and he has titled it as ugliest incident between Tindulkar and Ponting. Sashin recalled to the wicket furious Ponting. So this look just from that long title it sounds like this is a situation where a call was made and these two I mean these are two legends in the game they really are. One of these legends was not having it and you know you, you can understand that we've seen it when we watch sports. We've probably felt it in our own fields, in our careers, where we've been in for a few years, and we feel like we have an idea what's going on. When a call is made that you don't agree with and you just can't see how it's possible, and especially in a competition-type situation, we I feel like you, with me, the same way we're both competitive, we would lose our minds, just like it sounds <laughs> like this guy has lost his mind, and we haven't even watched the video yet. Right, right. Well, dude, you know, the funniest thing is – and it sounds so easy. And I have a friend who's actually, it's funny, I, I, I loathe umpires, but I have a friend who umpires <laughs> high school baseball. He's umpired on, Blue. A, a, a several of Trey's games. And he told me, bro, it's not that easy. Get behind the plate. And honestly, it's such a quick bang, bang thing. You know, a lot of times, think about this. A lot of times they will put a call in slow motion, 32 different angles, and you can still... <laughs> go different you know what i mean you could you you could still don't know so for, when you're just you it from the bare naked eye you know what i'm saying and it's a judgment call so you got to go quick quick it's it, it's possible but with that being said i'm still gonna want you to do your job get it right come on now blue <laughs> yeah you know here when we're talking to umpires in baseball <laughs> the nickname is blue and I think that was because maybe in Little League or in the professionals, they used to wear the blue shirts or something yeah. like that. These but nowadays, it's, you know, if you're if you're a kid growing up and you hear blue, it's like, why are they calling him blue? Um, <laughs> it's funny. In the movie um, Angels in the Outfit, I love that kid's movie. They uh, Christopher Lloyd, he plays an angel, but he also steals the umpire's hat. And it has AL for American League, and he just calls himself Al. We don't have those hats anymore either. They're just the Major League Baseball insignia, I'm pretty sure, and the black hats. But anyways, so we are very excited and interested to check this out. Um, if you are new to Boring Reviews, then Cricket Tuesday, this is a weekly thing that we do. We get into cricket. We have learned quite a bit. Hopefully, we can spew a little bit of knowledge, but we always want to learn. We always want to see. And this is something, like I said, that's very um, close to our frustration. So we want to see how it translates in <laughs> the other sports world. But don't forget to like and subscribe, and we are ready in three, two, one. Oh, he's giving him. Okay. Tendulka cannot believe it. He's in shock. Looks like an out. But he has to go. It was a half-hearted appeal, to say the least. 
And umpire Benson sends the Indian fans into a state of silence. Well, I have to say, when I look at this, even just a normal motion from our commentary position, he's missed us by miles oh. and it's come so much off the shoulder that you can hear the ooze around the ground. In fact, in fact, the players may be calling him back here. This is umpire. I think the umpire may be actually calling him back here. Okay, so Ponting wasn't the bowler, obviously, but he's coming as the captain. This is incredible. What just happened? So I, I, he he swung and missed it. It hit his shoulder. I guess if it not leg before wicket, it hits your shoulder, then it doesn't go off him. So the catch doesn't matter. It's like a miss swing because it hits his shoulder. It doesn't hit his bat. So I think the umpire is going to give him a a no ball or a do over. Yeah, there's Ponting right there. This is bizarre. <laughs> bizarre. Well, this is an interesting turn of events here. A stone-faced Ricky Ponting. And I'm sure Glenn McGrath is thinking totally opposite to what his facial expression says. Yeah. I think really, Ian Bishop said it was a fairly half-hearted appeal. I saw that just in normal motion when McGrath was running through to the slip cord, and I think he knew that uh, Tendulka didn't get a glove or a bat on it. Just know as a bowler in terms of off the shot, it, it, it parried slowly off the body through to the uh, through the keeper Haddon. Well, the ruling, the laws of cricket state, law 27.9, that an umpire may alter his decision provided that such an alteration is made promptly. There you go. I still want to know that if it hits your shoulder and they catch it, then it's, it's not an out. To alter his decision, it is in the laws of cricket. First time I've seen it. I'll ask you yeah, remember, Gabe, they're not rules, they are laws. <laughs> wasn't a certain Tendulka with that reputation would get that sort of benefit of the doubt. Mm. Incredible. See, but the funny thing is, Tendulka really didn't argue it himself. You know what I mean? He just kind of had a look on his face. No, it seemed like he didn't say anything. Yeah, you could say that's quite quick, but I tell you what, Tendulka was down to the 30 meter circle. And uh, it all started to erupt. But maybe he just did like a flick of the wrist type of a challenge. Who knows? But of course, they're Australians. And it wouldn't do that. Two overs gone, six without loss. Dra came charging in, bowled a, a shortish delivery to Denduka. This is what happened. Hit him on the shoulder, in fact. And uh, it was caught behind but they all went up and uh, the umpire gave him out oh i Huge see appeal. i see that the umpire called him out and then he changed his mind okay that's what he's mad about he says it's a disgrace you can hear what pointing said that's a disgrace i thought he was just mad that he delayed his call to figure out what was going on not that he made it one call reversed his decision and of course uh, under the law, the umpire perfectly entitled to reverse his decision. Is that Brett Lee right now? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> point number nine. An umpire may alter his decision, provided that such alteration is made promptly. Interesting. All right. So, I mean, lots to say there. Obviously, I mentioned it a few times. And sorry, guys, I try not to talk during the reactions. I know, you know, they're talking or whatever, but I just, I can't help myself. <laughs> but again, you swing and it hits your shoulder. The shoulder was not in the path of the of the of the wickets whatsoever. Um, there's you know body parts, this or that, legs before wickets. I don't think that applies whatsoever. So I think ultimately the right call was made, if I understand the rules correctly. Um, and at first, like I said, I thought Ponting was mad because the umpire didn't call him out when they thought he was out. And then he said, "No, he's not out because it hit his shoulder." He was mad because the guy actually put that finger up and said, "You're out." 
and then hold on. So like what you say brings up a good point. Didn't look like Sashin was, uh, you know, making a, a fuss about it. So where did that umpire come make that decision? Now, we would hope that it's coming from that place inside where you want to get the right call and you make that call. And then you say, oh, well, hold on. that actually too sure. Let me think about it. Now, when he changes the call, is that having a conversation with the other umpire? Is that going to the video or is that just saying, you know, you know what? I don't think what I saw is what I saw. So I'm going to switch it like that is where I would be frustrated if I was ponting. If there's no type of technical challenge, it didn't look like there was. It looked like it was just made very quickly. Right. What was the basis on you called them out and then you changed it? Why did you change it? That's where I would be frustrated. Yeah, I mean, I think that if if it's because he blew the call, like say he had a, 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 a brain fart, you know what I mean? Whatever. Oh, he should have seen, okay, the ball, the trajectory changed. So obviously it hit at something. Well, you know what I mean? Maybe he mistaken, thought it hit the bat. And then he said, oh, no, the bat didn't touch it. It hit the body. And then, you know, excuse me, it should be a no ball. But the fact that he changed his own call right away, you very seldomly see that. Normally it's another umpire or another official that comes and talks to him and says, hey, you know, wait, I think you got it wrong. Or maybe he looked at the video screen and said, oh, no, I got that wrong. Let me let me change it. But I can see uh, both sides of the argument. It's a tough, again, a tough. We're watching. We got the benefit of sitting down, watching it on a super slow-mo or whatever. They're in, you know, real life in the heat of the moment. You know, a fly could, ha- could you know, fly by you. You might blink and miss it. You know what I mean? Sweat got in your eyes. A million things could happen. You know, for me, you know, The most important thing is to get it right. You hate to see a game get, you know, or even history. And when I say history, we've talked about Andrew Galarraga's perfect game before on this channel. That was not a perfect game because the umpire blew, which seemed like one of the easiest calls and out at first, but, you know, he blew it. And afterwards he admitted he blew it. But you, I was thinking the same thing because he did, he knew right away. And it makes you wonder baseball may not have that rule. Well, I know umpires can change their calls. It happened before. So it makes you wonder why didn't he like stop for a second, take a breath and then make a clear decision. That's not the baseball situation, but I was thinking the same thing because that was very apparent. Like, Hey, you need to make the right call here. Right, right, right. So, and I just think that it's one of those situations where you almost feel bad for the umpire because it is a tough job and they're going to get it. And, you know, in that situation, he messed up because first he's going to get it from the Indian team. Then he's going to get it from the Australian team. So, you know, he's in a no win situation, but I guess the, 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 the way to fix that is to get the call right, but that's not always going to happen. And they're tough. A lot of times they're, you know, split decision, uh, split second decisions they got to make. And trust me, I've actually, like I said, my friend, uh, he was like, hey, come behind the plate and, you know, just during practice or whatever, try to call balls and strikes. And, bro, it's hard. You know, the hardest ones, too, is when the ball is coming and then it's absolutely nasty. What you don't think about is now the batter is moving, but your eyes, even though they should be trained on the ball, they they naturally go to the batter like what's he doing is his backswing gonna hit me you know what i mean dude you even flinch sometimes you see that in a, in a game where professional umpires will flinch sometimes like whoa that ball came close to hitting me you know what i mean and it, it's it's a tough thing to do do i still give umpire you know blues umpires refs in any sport an easy time no no i don't but i know it's hard <laughs> well you know it it's almost like part of the enjoyment of watching. Now, of course, I'm in my my living room, my bedroom, watching a basketball game to make a bad call. I'm yelling at the TV, no harm, no foul. But I I can't imagine um, the personal backlash if you are an umpire or ref of a televised sport that has millions of fans, like cricket has, maybe if not billions of fans, right? And I cannot imagine you mess up, you make one mistake at work, and you just have to hear about it from you have a whole country now in Australia that <laughs> hates you because they love themselves some Ricky Ponting. And um, in my job as a teacher, let me tell you this. I make mistakes literally every day, whether I'm saying a fact wrong. I'll stop myself in the middle of my teaching. Hopefully my principal is not watching this right now. Bust out my phone and Google. Am I correct by saying that the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776? Okay, I actually was correct about that one. But I make mistakes 
all the time. I make bad decisions about how I would discipline this or that all the time. Thank goodness, goodness it's not online. Thank goodness there's no camera there and there's not jokers like ourselves reacting to me <laughs> making that mistake. I mean, come on. Oh, trust me. Trust me. Uh, we all do. And in whatever profession we're in, you really, you know, you, you, I think you really were humanize it by saying, imagine if in your job and whatever you did, you had millions of eyes watching you and just waiting for you to make a mistake. And when you did, you just got unmercifully bad. You know, well, it's be a ready. banquet job too. No one watches the sport for the umps. I'm sorry. Like I could be a cricket umpire in the World Cup final and I can go home and I just am waiting for all my friends to call me because they saw me and everyone's going to say, oh, you were there? I was watching the game. I was watching your sticking finger go up crying out loud. <laughs> so, I mean, that's even worse. Like, no one cares about you. No one recognizes you unless you make a mistake. Yeah, exactly. The only time they do recognize you is when you make that mistake or you become notorious for like, you know, kicking players out quickly. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Joe West. I'm talking <laughs> about you. Up. Oh, my God, that guy drives me crazy. Him and Angel Hernandez are absolutely the worst baseball umpires ever, ever. Okay, so we uh, – we, I really enjoyed that reaction or that video, I should say. Hopefully you enjoy our reaction. But I enjoyed that video that Robolinda 2 put out, and, you know, it sparked up a lot of conversation. There's so much more we can talk about this. We're going to try to keep this video not too long. But um, I think it's – one of the best questions we've had so far for the comment section is let us know which moment in cricket, or maybe you're not a fan of cricket, you know, like these videos, you watch a different sport. Let us know which umpire call just destroyed you as a fan that you'll never be able to give up on. I know there's a few from um, some recent championships, Bangladesh, and I think India is one of them that we will get to eventually as a discussion, but let us know. What is that call that just really rubbed you wrong? And don't forget that we have more videos coming out every Cricket Tuesday. We have videos on the channel every single day for the most part. And until next time. We know all things.